Dubai has artificial rains. Dubai uses drones to shot clouds with laser beams. The drones only target certain clouds. Then they send an electric jolt to generate raindrops. Smaller droplets are collected. The size of the raindrops is important. It's so hot in Dubai that small drops don't reach the ground. They evaporate on their way down. Temperatures in Dubai easily exceed 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The UAE receives about 4 inches of rain per year. It makes farming almost impossible. The country has to import over 80% of its food. This pushed it to start cloud seeding in the 1990s. The UAE pioneered cloud seeding in the Gulf. Recently, it invested $15 million in rainmaking projects. One of them is pluviculture, or cloud seeding. It involves pulverizing clouds with chemicals. The most common are silver iodide and dry ice. The particles are sprayed into clouds. They attract super cold water vapor. The vapor quickly freezes into ice. Once the ice is heavy enough, it falls and melts into rain. Another method involves salt flares. They are often combined with magnesium or titanium dioxide. The UAE is also using sophisticated weather radar. It monitors the atmosphere 24-7. Meteorologists can choose the best time for cloud seeding. The temperature has to be 5 to 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Only then will the particles induce freezing. The wind speed must also be just right. Satellite images show when the right clouds are near. They then signal airplanes to spray the particles. Cloud seeding operations boost rainfall by 30 to 35%. In 2020, the UAE conducted over 200 such operations. Yet cloud seeding has caused controversy. It might take rain away from other regions. Silver iodine increases the risk of respiratory disease. It also raises the potential for large snowfalls. Titanium dioxide is classified as a possible carcinogen. So drones might be the safest rain-making method. Since they don't need human pilots, they're also cheaper. The first drone tests took place in Dubai. The drones were launched from a catapult. They flew for around 40 minutes. Each aircraft has a wingspan of 6.5 feet. They're equipped with sensors and charge emitters. The sensors measure temperature, charge, and humidity. Clouds naturally carry positive and negative charges. The drones alter their electrical balance. This makes droplets merge in a safe and effective way. Dubai authorities published footage of the test. It showed flooded streets and lightning flashes. In some areas, an amber alert was issued. It's extremely rare for the region. The drones generated 0.27 inches of rain in a single day. It means they could boost rainfall by 30% a year. Yet it's only one out of the nine rainmaking projects by the UAE. American scientists might follow the Emirati example. California has had four years of historic droughts. Los Angeles County has paid $500,000 to a cloud seeding contractor. They hope to get up to 15% more rainfall. The U.S. spent $2.4 million on cloud seeding for the Colorado River. Will we all make our own weather in the future?